Hi, welcome to this Greg's Bass Shed video where I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite and most useful music apps for 2021. Some of these apps have been around the world and have stood the test of time and others are new apps that I've found this year. Just to let you know, I'm not affiliated to any of these apps and they're just the ones that I get a lot of use out of or ones that I think as bass players you might benefit from. There aren't any substitutes to a really good bass teacher or a bass book, but in this digital age we may as well use apps to our advantage because they can aid us with our learning and our practicing. In no particular order, the first app for this video is the amazing Slow Downer. This is a very popular app and it's really useful to slow down sections if you're transcribing or learning them. It costs around $10 for Android or $15 for iPhone and iPad, so it's well worth buying. You can even get a version for your computer, but this is slightly more expensive. With the app, you can slow down or speed up certain sections of music, and you can even loop them. So this is really useful if you're trying to get down a lick or a fill and it's just too fast for you to hear. And the looping function is really important if you want to loop certain sections. You can even get a section, slow it down, learn that, and then gradually speed it up to the full tempo. Now the great thing about this app is that it doesn't change the pitch. Now lots of old programs used to time stretch sections and it will change the pitch. This doesn't do that. You do have the option to change the pitch if you want to afterwards, say you want to learn something in a different key, but it's great to have it at the original key when you're trying to get down a section. All in all, this is a brilliant app to age transcribing and learning. The second app is pretty new and it's the Talking Bass Scales for Bass Guitar app. Many of you will already be familiar with Mark from Talking Bass. He's got a really popular online bass school with courses and different YouTube videos. In this app you get to see all the scales as a fret diagram, standard notation or tab and you also get to hear what the scale sounds like. If you are interested in brushing up on your scales then this app would be perfect for you. It's more interactive than a bass book and obviously you can just have it on your phone um, so you've got it at your fingertips at all times. And there's also a version for iPad, um, I think this has got some video lessons on it as well. I've had a good play around with this app and I really like it. The third app is an app called ClearTune, and I got that for about $5, I think. So this is a tuning app. Now there are loads of tuning apps out there, but I find this one's really accurate, and I use it all the time for my upright or for my electric bass. Now these tuner apps are really useful if you don't have your clip-on tuner or your pedal board handy. So another tuner app that I like is the Boss tuner app, and that's actually free, so you might want to try that one out first. The fourth app is an ear training app called the Functional Ear Trainer. In this app there's a particular system of learning ear training that was developed by a guy called Ellen Ben Bassett. In this app you'll learn different intervals, you'll learn the intervals within scales and you'll also learn about resolutions in chords. When you use the app you can set the level that you're at, you can go right from beginner to advanced um, and then the app will ask you a series of questions, it will play different intervals and you've got to guess them. So it's a really good tool, you can just use it anywhere with headphones. You can actually sing back if you want, but you don't have to do that. This app isn't a gimmick at all, um, it suggests that you use it for 10 minutes a day and in my opinion you can make really good advances with your ear training by using it. The fifth app is one of my favourites, it's called iReal Pro. Now a lot of you might have heard of the iReal books, these contain lots of different jazz standards. Now you can download any jazz standard onto this app from a database. Um, the only thing it hasn't got, it hasn't got the melody, so it's just got all the chords. But once you've got the chords you can learn the different sequences, you can put them into set lists and you can transpose each jazz standard. Very easy to do within the app. But also the real bonus is you've got backing tracks of each jazz standard. So it will play your backing track, you can take out the bass for example, um, you've got a small mixer there to do that. So you can play along and make your own bass lines to all these jazz standards. Now I find this app extremely useful. I load it onto the iPad and take it along to gigs. Um, if someone calls a jazz tune last minute that I don't know, I can just pull it up, transpose it into any key, or beforehand, if we've got a chance to make up a set list, you can just make your set list within the app. So it's very, very useful. The next two apps are from the same developer. The first one is called the Erskine Jazz Essential Play Along app. Now this app has 10 jazz standards in it, and each jazz standard is played by an awesome live band, including Peter Erskine on drums. 
so you can play along with the PDFs of each tune. You can download those and print them out. Um, you can isolate the bass track, for example. So sometimes I isolate the bass track and transcribe that bass line, and you can learn what you would do within that standard. Um, or you can take the bass out and play along with the rest of the band. It's basically a version, a better version of the iReal backing track, really, because um, you've got live musicians on it but there are only 10 jazz standards in this. So obviously if you want all the standards, then I would suggest getting the iReal Pro app. The seventh app in this video and the second one in this series that I was talking about is the Mincer Big Bang Play Along app. Now it's relatively the same as the Erskine app. You can play along, you can download the PDFs and there are 10 tunes, but these are all big band tunes. You've got loads of parts there. Um, again, you can isolate the bass or take the bass out. The quality of the backing tracks are amazing on this and this is the closest you're going to get without the real thing to playing along to a big band. The eighth app is an app called Polynome. Now this is a really useful metronome that you can use to subdivide bars, put different cross rhythms and place the accents in different places in the bar. So you can get some really complicated rhythms going here. A metronome can be really useful to help you to work out complicated rhythms or how to subdivide a bar. You can also use it to learn sections of a bass line. You can play them really slowly at first with a metronome and then gradually work the speed up to full tempo. If you want a simplified version of this metronome app, then I'd suggest that you go for the Metro Timer, and this is a free metronome app. The ninth app I'm gonna recommend is the Bass Chords app. Now this is fairly self-explanatory, but it just shows you different chords starting on different roots, different chord types like major seven, minor seven, sus chords, dominant sevenths, and you can hear how these chords sound as well as seeing them on the fret diagram. So a lot of bass players don't use chords. I use them sometimes. It's really nice to chuck them in occasionally in a bass line, but the chords that also really good for learning harmony, for teaching yourself harmony to see how chords are constructed. The tenth and last app in this video is one that I use all the time day to day in my professional work and it's called Fourscore. It's basically a chart reader for PDFs. So you can load in lots of different charts of bass lines or whatever you want really and then you can annotate them. You can write on them, you can scribble on them, put text on them and you can even share these with different people in the band and you can share them with your annotations if you want. Now you can put all these charts into set lists so you can make those up beforehand. If you're say doing a function band that you're subbing or depping for, you can get all their charts and put them in a list just before the gig. Now I also use a Bluetooth page turner pedal, so you can just use that with your feet and you don't have to swipe to change pages, so that's really useful. Now on a reading gig, I still prefer to play from a paper chart if I can, but I'm finding that a subtly placed iPad is much more preferred nowadays at gigs. So Fourscore is the perfect app for this. Well that's all the 10 apps for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, can you please like and share it? And remember to subscribe to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button and click the notification bell as well. Now I always love hearing your comments um, if there are any of these apps that you use that you really like or if you've got any other ones that you want to tell everyone about, please leave a comment below the video. You might also want to head over to my website, gbshed.com. I've got loads more bass resources, bass courses, books, um, other free resources. So just head over there and have a look. There might be something over there that you like. So that's gbshed.com and I'll put a link below in the description. This is Greg from Greg's Bass Shed. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video very soon.